Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Technology Mafia. Here we are going to um, update and, uh, I should say, upgrade the RAM and the hard drive inside of this Alienware Alpha. So let me give you a closer look of this. One sec here. So you can see if I can focus it. This memory um, I purchased online. It is um, a Samsung, what is it, 4 gigabyte module. Um, it's PC3L, um, 1112B4, the timing. So this is an OEM um, stick that comes in the Alienware Alpha. This is just another one. So um, stock, it comes with 4 gigabytes. This is another 4 gigabytes. So I will have 8 total once the upgrade is done. Um, and this is a Samsung um, 850 Evo solid state hard drive. This is the 120 gigabyte one. Um, you can find these online for, they go on sale for about $60. So the memory was about uh, 20 shipped. This was about 60 shipped. So two cheap upgrades should improve the um, speed of the Alienware Alpha quite a bit. So. What we are going to do first is um, we're going to start up the computer so it's already started. I'm going to zoom in. First thing that we want to do is um, go to our desktop. So if you're here on Windows 8, when I click desktop, um, we want to open up the um, program called Alien Respawn. So if it's it was on my desktop um, when I purchased this, we want to allow this program to make changes. Yes, if it's not on your desktop, um, then you could hit the Windows key, um, scroll down, and it's listed in your apps here. Um, Alien Respawn right there. So let's go back to the desktop. So it's starting up. It takes a little bit of time to load up, um, but what we want to do is first of all create a backup um, of the um, operating system on a USB flash drive. So what I have, um, what I will be using for this um, is this USB flash drive. Focus here. So it is a PNY 16 gigabyte and you need an at least an 8 gigabyte flash drive USB 3.0 will be quicker. This is a 2.0 and it'll be fine. It'll just take a little bit longer. So that's what I'm using. Um, so what I will do is um, plug this um, USB stick into the Alienware here in the back. Any available USB slot will be just fine. So you'll see it pop up there. Um, and then what we want to do is um, create a um, bootable backup. So we want to click this tile here. And it's searching for an external hard drive. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so I'm having issues with my USB drive. So I'm updating Alien Respawn, the program. Um, when I clicked on update, it said that there is a newer version. Hopefully this will resolve issues. All right, I'm back. This has been a somewhat frustrating process. Alien Respawn uh, took two attempts to update for whatever reason. So now, though, um, you can see that the menu is a little bit different. If I go to bootable backup, um, it's searching for an external hard drive. I'm using the um, same USB. I'm going to hit change drive. And there it is. So it shows up. I hit, hit OK. It'll be formatted. Yes. And now it's creating the media. So it appears to be functioning as it should. And now um, we'll see how long it takes. I have it again. This is a USB 2.0. All right. So it took about 16 minutes. No, 17 minutes, and we are all done. Bottom creation ended successfully. We're gonna hit OK. 
Um, and now we can go ahead and shut down. So I'm going to do that here. And we are going to switch over to actually um, opening up the Alienware. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna unplug everything, including the USB flash drive, power cable, HDMI. This out of the way here. So I'm gonna take the Alienware, flip it over. There are four Phillips screws here. One, one, two, three, four. So we're just gonna take those out. All right, so here are the four screws that I just took out. So we'll put those to the side. And now we just need to take the top um, off of this piece. So let's see. Try to get, get a grip to slowly pry this. So there you can see these little pull tabs. It's coming up on one side and the other side. So it comes apart pretty easy and there's the four screw holes. All right, so this is the hard drive enclosure. So we're just gonna take this screw out here. And then you see the push, you just push it forward like that. And there's your hard drive. So this is the 500 gigabyte Toshiba. Um, and so you wanna take out one, two, three, four screws that are holding this hard drive in. So we'll do that. All right, and this is the last screw here. So we're gonna take this out. And before you take it out, you want want to line up to make sure that you're putting the solid state drive in the same way. So I'm going to pull this out to the side and then I'm putting this in just like that and then putting these screws back in. Alright, so we're putting the back last screws in here. All right, so that's done, and now we just flip it over, and we put it, place it down, slide it back into place, and then we want to put that little screw back in here to hold it in. All right, so that's it. The hard drive is done, so simple enough. Now, to do the memory... Um, the RAM install, you need to get to the other side. So we're going to flip this over and actually going to pry this top cover piece off without breaking anything. So there we go. So as you can see, these there are two fans inside of the Alienware Alpha. One says GPU, one says CPU. Um, the memory you can see just from here is under the CPU fan. So you need to remove this fan, and there are two arrows and blue tabs. So you just want to pinch those together and move the fan to the side. You don't need to disconnect it. And then you can see... Um, one stick of 4 gigabyte RAM in there it goes in this way, so you just want to make sure that that lines up correctly. It's going into this slot, in all the way, you'll hear it, and then down and it clicks into place. And there you go, so you have two 4 gigabyte sticks, and you just want to put the fan back. There we go, and you're all set. So now the process is as easy as putting everything back together. So put this back on, flip it over, put the back cover on, and then we are replacing these four screws that we 
were removed at the very beginning. Alright, so we have everything plugged back in, and as you can see on the screen here, um, Alien Respawn, we have a message, so we're going to just select next, um, so it says cannot repair your system, select next to start the recovery process, so this is good, this is what we want, um, and then you can see there's the factory image that is on our USB drive, so we want to select next. And all right, so we're going to select the bottom option, which is factory recovery, deletes all data and resets all partitions. Click next. Um, so I'm going to reset completely. Next here. And it's going to go through this process of preparing your hard drive and restoring your system. So I'm going to pause the video. This will probably take several minutes. All right, so here we are at the very end. The recovery has been completed. It took about 15 minutes, and now we're gonna hit restart. And the computer will restart now with our new RAM and new hard drive. So um, that is it for the process. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them below like this video and subscribe. I'm going to go through and set up um, this computer again as I did the first time. Again, thanks for watching.